So many routinely teach that Nephilim are some sort of an angel-humid hybrid. It's certainly a fine story to tell, but I don't see how that in any way agrees with Scripture. Specifically, very early on, we are many times told that the reproduction is done by kind. Why would humans differ? You know, this, I think, is an absolute excellent question Mm -hmm. because um, I appreciate that she's looking at it biblically and she's puzzling it through and she's trying to look at what Scripture talks um, in Genesis and and we don't have it, we won't go through all of them, but she had listed several times and we can look in Scripture where God says... um, let the earth sprout vegetation, plants yielding seed and fruit trees, each after their own kind. Uh, you see later, God created sea monsters in Genesis 1.21, every living creature that moves, and they, after their own kind, after their own kind. And so you have this idea that God instilled in the natural world that not only all life, okay, plants, animals, humans, etc., would reproduce after their own kind. So God put limits in the natural world on this. Uh, That's why if you take like a horse and a donkey, it'll produce a mule, but a mule cannot continue to reproduce because they're two different kinds to some degree. They can produce an animal, but it becomes sterile. And so we see this in the natural world, in the biological world. It's a great thing. God set boundaries. We also know today we're all familiar with the idea of genetically modified organisms, right? GMOs. We don't necessarily like GMOs at times. But what they're doing is they're going in and they're crossbreeding, uh, so far as we know, at least plants and animals, but they also know they have crossbred uh, certain animals, like, for example, they would uh, crossbreed spiders, and, and some of the milk that would be produced by animals had like a like a very strong, silky steel. You know, webs are very strong. It's really interesting. So humans are overruling, or not overruling, they they are contaminating God's natural created order. And so humans have done it, and they're going to continue to try to do it. They talk about, this is the phrase of chimeras. Um, But God had put and said, hey, this is the the way the natural world will work. Don't violate it. Okay. But she asked the question, well, if Nephilim are the offspring according to Genesis 6, 4, of fallen angels and human women, that can't be the case because God said that um, things only can reproduce after their own kind. And I would answer that in two ways to say that is 100% true in the natural world. Um, God sets up rules, but as we've already stated, mankind is getting in there and... Um, they're not very good at following God's rules sometimes. They're not following God's rules. And so they are uh, going against and mixing kinds together. And so um, the natural world is set up by God to have a certain order to it. But one of the things that is interesting is that um, in, one of the, in the answer I gave to her is, for example, in the natural world, uh, the sun, you know, the, the earth um, spins and you have daylight. Well, in Joshua chapter 10, God overruled. God can overrule supernaturally. That's important here in one sense. Uh, God supernaturally overrules the day. And so Joshua, it's the only time in history, he says, Lord, please let not the sun go down. So God stops to some, in some way the rotation of the earth and allows the day to last longer than the normal 24 hours so that Joshua can, can f- pursue his enemies. That's a very supernatural thing. It violated the order that God had said in Genesis 1, verse 14 through 16 about the sun and the moon and and all that. Uh, We also see that um, what's the natural order of humanity? We die. That's natural. Um, It wasn't that way in the beginning, but it is natural now. But God, whenever Jesus raised somebody from the dead, he supernaturally reversed the normal order of things. So God can supernaturally overrule his order from an outside perspective. Um, Let me give you another uh, example of a fallen angel or a fallen creature, a fallen being. Uh, For example, in the book of Job, Job chapter 1 and 2, um, we know that Satan is given permission to attack Job's body. He wasn't allowed to kill him. But he was able, think about this, he was able to touch Job's body to a certain degree to create boils all over his body. That's not natural. Um, it was something that, that occurred 
Obviously, those weren't in Job's body to begin with, but supernaturally, Satan came, and he supernaturally overruled, by God's permission, um, the natural order of things. And so what we're trying to say here is that, yes, under normal circumstances, death rules, there's no exception. Under normal circumstances, animals that are sterile don't reproduce. So, however, when it comes to um, really this example of these fallen angels, if Satan can come along in the book of Job and overrule the natural order by God's permission, then it's no surprise. It doesn't violate Scripture. It violates God's natural order, but God allowed it for His reasons. No different than a miracle, a raising of the dead. Um, so in Genesis 6, when these, fall, these sons of God, that's really what it says, when they come down and they present themselves and they mate with human women, yes, they are violating the natural order. Um, they are coming along just like Satan did to Job in a supernatural way. This, this doesn't mean that it couldn't happen. It just wasn't supposed to happen. It was part of God's order and rule. So when they come down to do this, they violate uh, this natural order of things. And God is upset. And that, that's really, interestingly, the question actually shows why God is so upset. Um, and it actually, I think, shows, helps provide evidence for why these are sons of God, these fallen angels. Uh, we've written about it in other contexts, uh, Genesis 6, 2 and 6, 4. But I'll read to you um, in, in Jude 1, verse 6, which I think gives us evidence. In 2 Peter 2, 4, we see that these angels that sinned were cast down to Tartarus. Um, they sinned at the time of Noah. And in Jude 1, 6, Jude is, is speaking about this same time frame. He says, And the angels who did not stay with within their own position of authority, but left their proper dwelling, uh, or natural dwelling. He has kept in eternal chains under gloomy darkness until the judgment of the great day. So in Jude 1.6, we have these angels leaving their natural domain. Now, it, it, it hasn't talked about what they did yet, but they left their natural domain and they invaded into the natural world. And then in verse 7, this is the key. Just as... That's a, that's a, I mean, coordinating conjunction in Greek. If you, it's connecting the two ideas very clearly. Th these angels that sinned in verse 6 sinned just as the people that sinned in verse 7. And it says, just as Sodom and Gomorrah and the surrounding cities, which likewise, so again, now you have another connection. They likewise um, indulged in sexual immorality, Okay, we know that Sodom and Gomorrah, they, they sinned in, with sexual immorality and pursued unnatural desire. So there's that word, unnatural. It was beyond the natural order. Serve, an serve as an example by undergoing a punishment of fire. So what Jude is saying there is that there's two connections. These angels that sinned, they went against the, the natural order. They, they left their position of authority. They left their natural dwelling. They came and they sinned, as Sodom and Gomorrah did, in a sexual way and according to unnatural desire. And that's why they're judged in um, eternal fire and chains. So when we look at this question, again, it's a great question. Uh, how can there can be reproduction uh, between angels and women when it, God says it's, you can't do it according to kind? And what we'd say is it's according to a supernatural intervention which put aside God's natural order. And these, these beings are supernatural. Obviously, God didn't tell them to do it, but He allowed them to do it in the sense that He didn't give them permission as far as we know, but He allowed evil to take its course for a reason. And so again, it is a great question, but it reminds us of the, way, of the natural order of things. And we do have supernatural events. We have supernatural um, situations where God allows that to be. And we're going to see this as we come to the end times that um, even with the Antichrist, the Antichrist is the seed of Satan. And he comes and he gets supposedly resurrected from the dead in Revelation 13. And uh, he's a son of perdition. And so you have this, this same really technology that God is going to allow in a very specific time, uh, this overruling of supernatural. We're going to see in Revelation 9, uh, demonic hordes coming upon the earth and, and tormenting man. So it's going to be uh, what, what is normally reserved as a separate world, those from the spirit world are going to come in. And again, it's, it's, not, it's not the normal way of things. So she is very correct. 
that the normal way of things is kind after kind. But when supernatural beings get involved, God himself healing, it can be overruled. This whole question and your answer has just made me think about how we live in a natural world, but really everything about our life is not natural. It is super, there is so much supernatural mm -hmm. involvement, both from, from good and from evil. And, yeah. and it's so important to be equipped and to be aware and to learn and to ask these kinds of questions. Yeah. Because if we don't know it, then we're going to be deceived so easily. And the rest of the world is. We're the ones yeah. that need to proclaim the truth. So. Amen to that. I mean, it's... When you look at the gospel period as well, I mean, just another little example that comes to mind is it's not normal for humans to break chains, you know, and yet these, some of these men who were demonically possessed, they, the Bible says in the gospels that they showed supernatural strength of breaking chains and bonds and other things. And, and so uh, under the normal rules, uh, that you, we don't have the strength to do that, but with supernatural, you know, non-human intervention in this, this way and, and that strength and empowerment. But...